Hi, this is Connie Cleveland with Pan, who is 13 and a half weeks old, and my husband, Pat Nolan. This is Pan's introductory lesson to scent work. So we've got clove in that container, and Pat is loading the scent tube for me by putting a little treat in the crevice on the top of the scent tube. But the holes in the top mean that Pan is flooded by the odor of the clove as he's eating the treat. So I'm just letting him go forward, eat the treat, and then calling him back. This video contains every repetition that we did with Pan. I wanted you to see what went right, what didn't go right. Occasionally, I've cut out portions of the video if we had to go get treats or other equipment. But the video represents the entire training session. So Pan did that four times, and we added a second scent tube. The second scent tube is empty. The first goal is to get him to go from one scent tube to another until he encounters the clove and the treat that's in the top of the scent tube. When Pat taps a scent tube, he always taps the wrong one. He just wants to get the puppy started. So we did a couple repetitions with two scent tubes, and now we're going to add a third scent tube. This scent tube has a control in it. That control is unscented Q-tips, because eventually the odor will be on a Q-tip, and he needs to learn to ignore the scent of a Q-tip. So one of the scent tubes has Q-tips, one is empty, and the third contains the odor of clove. At this point in the training session, Pat and I have worked out the details. He uses OK as a reward marker for the dogs that he trains, nice. and Pan knows nice is a reward marker, so we're going to be using that. This went really poorly as I tried to get him back to me, so going forward I'm going to take more control of that. We're just going to pick Pan up and remove him so that we can shuffle the scent tubes. Uh -oh, it's so now Pat is adding a fourth scent tube, and there will be Bill Jack liver treats inside. If you have ever done any scent work, you may find this highly unusual that we would add controls and distractions in this first lesson. And I wanted to show you this because it's absolutely possible to do with your puppy or adult dog as you introduce scent work. Yeah, boy. Come here. I'm going to get a microphone over here to hear him snuffling. There you go. Okay. Okay, so we are three minutes into his first session, and there is no longer <coughs> any food yeah, on top boy. of the scent tube. Obviously, the scent tube still smells of food and clove, but there is no yeah. food on top to keep him there. So now we are imprinting odor, okay. which means oh, we're going to use the reward oh, marker as soon as we believe that he is in odor. So we're not looking for a response from him. We're going to mark nice. and pay as soon as he encounters the odor. When Pat taps on a scent tube, he never nice. taps on the correct there tube. This time let me feed him there a little bit, okay? We're going to get him here in a second. This is fun. Nice! At this point, Pat decided he was going to reward him nice. multiple times at the correct scent nice. tube to try to keep him in odor a little bit longer. Another detail that I would like you to notice is that Pat obviously has a lot of food odor on his hands and he's touching all of the scent tubes. So four and a half minutes into his first lesson, Pan is learning that food is not an indicator of reward. Nice. There you saw him That's try to it. check out yeah, Pat's boy. hands and immediately leave Pat and go back to searching the scent tubes. Nice! Did you see him stop there that time? 
there. Shot there. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Well, our excitement is that Pan showed just a little bit of odor recognition. Now, I am not going to teach Pan a final alert. I'm going to let Pan teach himself a final yes. alert. I just there want him to stop go. and stare and nice. be stable in odor. If nice. he chooses to sit later on, that will be his choice. It won't be because I have ever nice. asked him to do that. Okay, last one. Ever. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, you didn't catch it. Let's try another. There you go. Oh, good boy. We're not going to quit on that one. He didn't recognize it at first, and I diced him. Okay, come here. He was just going by. We started out using chicken as the reward and Bill Jack as the distraction, but we had run out of chicken, so now we were using Bill Jack as the distraction and the reward. He likes Bill Jack better than chicken, I think. Nice! The something different is that Pat is going to continue to reward him without an additional reward marker, just letting the puppy realize that staying in that odor causes more reward to happen. Last one. 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 Last we are tickled with the strength nice. of that reaction to odor at the end of his first lesson. So we have Q-tips in one, one is empty, one has bell jack in it, and one has clove, right? Yeah. There, there you go. go. Very good.